So it's been a minute since I've been out here actually creating content and that sucked. But the good news is, you guys, I've been hard at work behind the scenes testing out tons of beauty products. And in the coming weeks and months and, of course, for the end of year wrap ups when we do Best of Beauty, I will talk about those things. But I've got so many favorites going on that I would just really wanted to kind of start rolling some of them out. So this is a very condensed version. I have way more than this currently. In fact, I'm probably going to do a video where I kind of demo my current go-to faces for day and night. Let me know if you want to see it. But yeah, this video is going to have a lot of stuff. It's going to have uh, everything from makeup to skincare to body care to fragrance, which actually brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Scentbird. This is my third, right? Yeah, my third collaboration with Scentbird because it keeps going really well. Anytime I do one of these videos, you guys show a lot of interest in the subscription service, which I completely understand because from my vantage point, and as I have said many times pertaining to Scentbird, what I like about it the most is that it is a subscription service that you get to have control over. There are so many subscription services that are not like that at all. And uh, you just kind of end up getting whatever they send you. But you get to really customize your experience with Scentbird. And as I've been telling you guys on my channel for a while, perfume and fragrance in general is something I'm really opening myself up to. And, and, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the absolute crap out of trying new perfumes. But it can be a little intimidating and confusing if you're still learning your way through things like fragrance notes and trying to figure out what scents you truly gravitate to. I definitely have a type, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I am willing to diversify the uh, kinds of fragrances I'm bringing around. And one of the scent fragrances I got this month actually from Scentbird is a perfect example of something I was looking for and I'm excited to try because the good news with Scentbird, and another thing I like about them so much is that when you get your fragrance samples from them, which we all know you can go into Sephora or anywhere and get a fragrance sample that'll probably last you maybe a day or two, but Scentbird did not come to play. These are very deluxe sized samples and they'll last you at least a month. And again, I've said this before, I have to live with a fragrance for a minute before I can truly get a sense of how I feel about it. So having the option to test out a fragrance for a very reasonable price without having to splurge on a 60, 70, 80, 90 plus dollar bottle of perfume and then realize I don't actually like it is a huge selling point with Scentbird as far as I'm concerned. So I thought I'd tell you guys really quickly about the three fragrances they sent me this month. Scentbird does also always send you cards that annotate uh, the fragrances you got, the notes that are in them, because like I've said before, I'm still learning fragrance. So being able to familiarize myself with the notes that I'm consistently interested in has been very helpful. And I'm going to save the kind of uh, very out of the box fragrance uh, for last. So the first one we have here is Taka Toka Bell. I see these bottles everywhere all the time. I've never actually smelled this before. This one has Italian bergamot, petit grain, and white freesia. I do really, really like this one a lot. In terms of like fragrances that I gravitate to, this is a very classic me. It's floral, it's fresh, it's feminine. It's, that's what I like, you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorite ones that Scentbird has sent me so far. I want to try more of this brand in general because I do really enjoy this one and I don't know anything about it. So the next one is Balenciaga Paris, which this bottle is, ugh, I'm obsessed with it. But this one has notes of pepper, violet leaves, cedarwood, patchouli, and vetiver, which I can never feel like, I never feel like I'm saying that word right. This one in particular is different, but still kind of similar to something I would gravitate to. Since this one has violet leaves in it, you would think there'd be like a hint of a floral element to it. I don't smell that at all. I smell a lot of the pepper and the cedar wood. So this is also kind of like a masculine scent. This is something that I'm going to have to live with. Again, it's the benefit of this service. So because I'm, I like it, but like, do I like it? I, I, I'm torn about how much I like it. 
love that I can sit with it for a minute. And the last one is Skylar's Fall Cashmere. This is the one that's the most outside of my box, but yet something I've been looking for in particular because A, I've always wanted to try Skylar, and B, I wanted a fall fragrance really bad. I was looking for something spicy. I had something very particular in mind. And the notes for this one are roasted almond, cinnamon bark, and spiced ginger. And I think the big thing with Skylar fragrances is that they're like all natural and stuff. So let's check it out. Okay, I really like this one. But it's another one I have to live with because it actually smells like a candle I have smelt before. And I can't figure out which one it is. It's definitely a Bath & Body Works candle. It's a candle I like a lot, but I can't think of the name. So I am going to live with this throughout the fall and decide if this is something I want to repurchase and keep in my collection for the season. But I am, like I said, really glad they sent me this one in particular. I'm going to leave all the information about Simpered down below, including how you can get 30% off your first month of Simpered using my code. These make great gifts for the holidays as well if you have a fragrance lover in your life. And as always, it is a flexible subscription that allows you to skip any month that you want to without penalties. So again, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and definitely make sure you guys check the down bar for all the information. And again, use my code for 30% off. Since we just talked about fragrance, I figured this would be a good segue into the favorites video by starting with my current fragrance favorite, which is Chloe Eau de, Eau de, I never know how to say that correctly, perfume. This is something I have wanted for a really long time. I've had samples of it many, many times given to me when I've gone shopping for other fragrances. I've always worn them out, you know, because it takes like two seconds because they give you such a small sample. And I vowed to myself I would pick this up. And I like it even more the longer that I've lived with it. I really love the kind of, uh, I guess you call it like the second note or whatever, like the fragrance that lingers after you've worn it for a while. It's very clean, very fresh. My husband said it kind of reminded him of baby powder, which I don't, I don't smell it at all, but it's just up my alley. And if you guys have tried other fragrances that I've mentioned and said that I really, really love, and for some reason you haven't checked this out, you definitely should. The notes that it says it has are peony, rose, honey, and cedarwood. I, I tend to gravitate toward rose scented things I'm learning. And uh, I actually bought another fragrance from Chloe as well that I will talk about in a future video that I really love that is such a weird fragrance I want to talk to you guys about. So stay tuned for that. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Is Clinical Youth Body Serum. I picked this up off skintruth.com, which is where I get all of my medical grade skincare. I have a lot of new skincare that I've been trying, new brands, just really stepping out of my comfort zone with my skincare routine. And I want to do, as I mentioned before, kind of a get ready with me a uh, day and night routine. And I kind of want them also to include my skincare because I'm trying lots of cool skincare right now. Anyway, um, this is a body serum, as I just said, but I would love to have a body serum in my rotation. I have another one that I'm kind of working with as well, but I like this one the most. Um, I love the applicator because of the way that it sprays. Sometimes when you get spray body oils or body serums, the bottle itself is really heavy. So by the time your hands get coated in the product, you can't really like control it anymore. But this is a solid bottle that is also easy to use. That's so oddly specific, but whatever. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, watermelon extract, blue microalgae, licorice root, and holy herb. Didn't even know about that. Uh, they're combined with B5 and their proprietary extromozymes. I don't, I don't know. It's it's their whole thing over there, and it's worth the Google. Uh, yeah, I really, really like this. It's my current favorite body serum, and I'm loving, like I said before, that more brands that are geared towards skincare are starting to do more body skincare. I'm loving for it. This is the Skin Fix Resurface AHA body cream. It retails for $45. Got mine at Sephora. I made kind of a Sephora haul a couple of weeks ago before I went through my little episode, and I didn't end up posting it because now it feels kind of out of time and you know whatever but this was in there as well as a lot of other body care things that I will talk about later this is just the one that I've been enjoying the most except here's what I do have to say so I picked this up at the same time that I picked up two items from Necessaire which everyone's always raving about and telling me to try because I'm such a body care queen but I am not that impressed because I honestly think 
I need you to, I know some people don't like fragrance, but I need a fragrance. Something about the fragrance incentivizes me to use it and will make me like bond to it better. And although this product works really, really well, it is an AHA BHA exfoliant body cream that has shea butter, coconut oil, and jojoba oil, which I love things like that, where it's like, yeah, we're going to go in and exfoliate some skin, but we're going to hydrate you too. I really enjoy that. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free. It's just, again, that there's no fragrance. And I know that lots of people cannot handle fragrance, so I totally get that. I probably am still going to continue to use this because it works so well at keeping my body skin so smooth and hydrated. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I wish they had a scented version. Tell me what you think about the unscented kind of prestige beauty products. Do you buy beauty products for the full experience to include fragrance or are you more focused on those active ingredients in your body care? Please let me know. So let's just move on to skincare and I thought I would tell you guys about a new device for two reasons. Number one, it's my current favorite. And number two, there are going to be a few bits of content coming up in the near future where I talk more about the MyoLift Cutie from 70 Wellness. If you guys have seen my more recent content, I did a video talking about this guy, which is the MyoLift, no, yeah, this is the MyoLift Mini and this is the MyoLift Cutie. Um, a lot of you guys picked this up, a lot of you guys loved it. A lot of you guys wanted to pick it up, but were a little intimidated by the type of um, system that's required to use this particular microcurrent device, but you have the amazing MyoLift kind of technology and the results in a very awesome, easy to use handheld device. And I just wanted to share it with you guys really quick because these are on special with uh, 7E right now. You can get your MyoLift and you get a bunch of other stuff with it, which includes the gloves. You guys, this is what makes 70 Wellness and MyoLift, their microcurrent system, so cool because there are a lot of accessories that make using it easy, which other uh, microcurrent devices have as well, but those accessories cost almost as much as the microcurrent device themselves, and they don't do that, but these are very valuable and very, very useful. So you will actually get the gloves as well as their new sheet mask situation, which is super cool because it's literally like... A sheet mask that you apply these electrodes, electrodes into your microcurrent device. It's a whole thing, you guys. I can't wait to talk to you guys more about it. I just wanted to share it with you right now because it is a favorite. And I did get a lot of comments and DMs and questions about the MyoLift uh, Mini asking me if I really thought that they should pick it up because they thought maybe it'd be too hard to use. So if you were one of those people... Check this out. I will leave all the information down below. Um, they also are just running some really dope holiday bundles in general. I'll leave some information about that down below. But I'm really happy to be working with this brand. And if you guys want to hear more about this, I'm going to demo it and talk about it again in a kind of morning routine video that I keep referring to. So anyway, big favorite. Just wanted to let you know. Keep your eyes on the grid, YouTube community, IG stories, all that stuff for updates about big sales, huge sales going on with 70 Wellness. In the holidays, let's move on. <laughs> so next is the Sente Dermal Repair Cream. This stuff is amazing, and Sente as a brand in general is slowly becoming something that is getting a lot of my money. Um, this is a kind of a nourishing moisturizer. You can get this at skintruth.com. Again, 20% off most brands. Use that code, Whitney20, because... This is not cheap, and I don't know if you get 20% off of Sente, but still, most of the stuff that I recommend from Skin Truth is a little pricey, but those discount codes do go very far. Anyway, this is a dermal uh, repair cream. It helps with a comprised barrier function, and your barrier function is so crucial with your skin. You know, we do a lot of exfoliating and acids and things of that nature, but you have to repair that barrier function. Otherwise, your skin's never going to look as healthy or as youthful as you are, as you want it to, especially if you're putting in a lot of effort to constantly exfoliating your skin. But Sente has this stuff called HSA. I can't remember what that stands for, but it's like their patented technology. Um, and it rapidly and profoundly hydrates and strengthens the skin's natural ability to repair itself. And I would say that checks out. I've told you guys that I use Retin-A, which does make my skin sensitized. And this has been helping a lot. It's turned into my daytime moisturizer. I have the ultra nourish version of this on the, on the way right now. It's in the mail. 
to use as a night cream. Um, I usually don't expect moisturizers to, to do much. I don't like to spend much money on them. This has changed my mind because it does so much for the skin as well as moisturizes it and kind of gets it to act more moisturized on its own. It's good for sensitive skin and it does help reduce redness a lot in the skin if that's something you struggle with. So I've been loving this. Again, information down below. So I've been going through a little bit of a phase with like eye care. <laughs> um, I noticed some pretty pronounced wrinkles right here. And I know that I'm gonna get them. I expect to get them and I expect to get them around my eyes first. And if they're there, it's probably already too late for me to be doing much about them but I wanna prevent ones in the future. And I invested in my first expensive eye cream. This is the SkinCeuticals AGE Complex. This little tub was $100, not cheap, but I, I truly think this is gonna last me until like spring. It's, it's a really small amount of product in here, but it's like a balm that you also, need, you also need a very, very small amount. It's been in my like beauty wish list for a while, I also invested in an under eye serum, which I'll talk about at a later date. I've got another under eye product coming here in a second, but eye creams and things of that nature, um, very, very helpful and interesting to me right now. This does help. I think it's I think it's a combination of many things I'm doing right now around my under eye area that are resulting in the benefits I'm seeing, but this has helped with hydration, with puffiness a lot, and I have noticed a difference in under eye circles. It's new to me, but I, and I'm looking forward to uh, letting you guys know in the future how this is panning out long term. <laughs> Last uh, SkinTruth.com product. This is the Sanitas AHA Resurfacing Kit. I've had this for a little while, and I've actually featured it on, oh gosh, Instagram stories once or twice. I freaking love this thing, you guys. Basically, I love these kind of medical grade peel kits. I bought one from Truth Treatments last Christmas that Brianna Stanko collaborated on, the owner of SkinTruth.com. And now I'm on to this one from Sanita's and next I'm gonna do the Is Clinical one. But I do really like this one. It comes with a few things. Um, you get the Topical C Daily Moisturizer, the Glyco Solution 5% Exfoliating Treatment, you get the AHA resurfacing peel, and you also get the moisture mist. These two things, the moisturizer and the moisturist, these are nice to have. They're really not the heart and soul of the exfoliating kit, but uh, these two are, particularly the resurfacing peel. This is not something I can do all the time, maybe once a month, maybe twice, but at least once a month I will bust it out because it does give you such a beautiful... Um, exfoliated glowy skin after like a noticeable beaming effect with this and the beauty of it is that you can do it at home it's effective after one use but if you kind of keep it up and stay consistent with it once a week if your skin can handle it or whatever the case may be you're going to notice like big differences over time next for under eyes <laughs> this is the benefiance regal resist pure retinol express smoothing eye mask from shiseido I have wanted these things forever, um, and I finally picked them up a couple weeks ago, or maybe longer, because as you can tell, we are making a dent in these. So I told you guys I've been really into the under eye products, and I've definitely used those kinds of under eye products that are meant to depuff or cool the immediate under eye area, but I've never used A, a retinol directly underneath my eye, or B, a eye mask thingy that was used to have long-term benefits as opposed to, like I said, that immediate cooling sensation. And I do really like these. This is something I have to use when I have no interest in self tanning because the next one, like I will use these and wake up the next morning and I can see like where the retinol has done what it's supposed to do. It's increased the cell turnover and the areas right underneath my eye are like paler than the rest of my face because um, it kind of ate myself tanner. So I do love these. I see these everywhere. They're always like an allure, um, best of beauty things. I think it's just like one of those cult classics. I never tried them and I really like them. I'm just saying. Last for skin. This is the, okay. So first of all, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this YouTuber name. Her name is Lisa, but I can't remember what she goes by on YouTube. I love her. And I was watching one of her videos like last year and she was talking about this brand that I had never heard of, but I was interested in and I've been interested in ever since, which is called City Beauty. 
Never heard of it, right? Uh, but they happened to reach out to me and ask, you know, can we send you some stuff? Talk about it if you want to. This is completely unsponsored. This is just what I think of this brand. They sent me a lot of stuff, and I like everything they sent me so much. Like, when I told you guys I have a lot more favorites than what I'm showing you today, I meant it. And this is one of them. This is this, And there's going to be more in this video, actually. There's two more. I think two more City Beauty favorites in this video. Is that it? Yeah. Anyway, this is the City Beauty Skin Perfecting Daily Veil with Broad Spectrum SPF 39. <laughs> Very specific. So I have a fixation with a particular kind of product right now, and that is SPF that does multiple things for me. And that's because it actually encourages me to use it and I remember to use it more often. Don't get me started. I'm not always the best about it. But this stuff is something that I use as a primer underneath foundation. And I'll also use it by itself with just concealer and like some highlighter, liquid blush, lip balm, and brow gel. That's like a chill makeup vibe to me because this stuff, while it is an SPF, it is like the most smoothing thing you will ever put on your skin. And it just, you probably are you're definitely not going to be able to tell on camera right now, but it just perfects the skin. It makes it look really polish plus again it has that SPF in it also something I'm loving about it as well is that it has so many good ingredients in it for your skin in general like uh spirulina extract it has a marine antioxidant compound um it has beetroot which amplifies amplifies vitamin D receptor activity. Like it has a lot going for it on top of the fact that it just makes you look really polished and put together. So I will link this down below. I have, they did give me a discount code. I think it's Whitney 15 for 15% 15 off your order. Please check them out, you guys, because this is a brand that I think if you're a woman of a particular age, like maybe around my age, you're going to like because everything they sell, whether and, and particularly when it comes to like a beauty product, has a lot of benefits to it, which we'll get into in a minute. Anyway, this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Shield Protection in Flex, and I have it also in bronze. These are from SkinTruth.com as well. This is, again, where I get so much of my stuff, but I have been using these. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get my notes together. I really wanted this video to be quick. I even like wrote notes for a favorites video, which I never do, but this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Color Shield Total Protection Flex. It retails for $45. You can get it on skintrees.com. Use code 2020 for 20% 20 off most brands. This is what I've actually been using for my foundation 85 to 90 percent of the time the only exception lately is mac face and body and that's when like i'm wearing makeup i'm going to dinner at night I'm, like i'm wearing this right now because i'm filming but outside of that every day for the most part i'm wearing this and a big theme in my current makeup favorites you guys will see is like effortless easy and things that can help me do my makeup really quick. And that's why I want to make a video about my kind of go-to looks lately. Because I've been experimenting with how to do a full face of makeup or like a glam beat that I feel like really pretty in. Um, in about 20 minutes and I have it down now. And this is one of the products that has made that process so much quicker. Because it is, it's a sunscreen but it's damn near or basically to be honest a medium to full coverage foundation like this is very this covers my friend and that flex in it means that it changes the tone to kind of fit your skin tone you know what i'm talking about those ones that come out white like this and then they adjust to the skin tone that they're on which is amazing and the bronze is really great to use literally as a liquid bronzer or you can mix it in to kind of change the tone of it. Either one is great. This reminds me of those um, uh, drunk elephant pollution drops or whatever, something you can just put in anything to get that SPF and that color. I freaking love this stuff, you guys. If you don't try anything else, I mentioned in the makeup portion of this video, I don't know why I felt the need to do that. I really recommend you check these out. So speaking of things that I've been doing to try to make my makeup application process quicker, cream, shadow sticks you guys i am having a moment with these um all of the ones i have are from bobby brown with the exception of one which is from laura mercier but i will take any version of something like this as long as they perform this well these are really well performing cream shadow sticks and i love them like my whole eyeshadow today 
was done pretty much with cream. It was quick, it was easy. Blending it took no time at all. It lasts longer. There's no downside to this. And when, like I said, when it comes to putting together a look really quickly, there are a few little steps and tips and tricks I have been like playing with behind the scenes, like I told you, but these and that sunscreen are two of the main kind of game changers for me. The ones that I have from Bobbi Brown are Taupe, Nude Beach, and Cinnamon. I'm wearing all three of these today. And the darkest one I have, which I'm also wearing, is from Laura Mercier, and it's Coco. They're great colors. Um, I want to gather more of them and kind of learn how to create a lot of different types of look with cream shadows. So if you guys have any suggestions there, definitely, definitely let me know. But yeah, I'll link these down below. They're amazing. So lips, obviously my go-to nude lately has been Where's My Limo from Christian Audette. This was released in my lipstick collab that went live um, right before my, my little episode. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video right here that explains everything that happened to me. Go watch it. We're trying to move on today. But uh, I didn't get to talk about these as much as I wanted to and thank all of you who bought your bundle or really, really share with you guys just my excitement about this as much as I could have. Um, so I'm gonna do it right now. I have been wearing this color non-stop as my nude because it's so easy to manipulate. I wear it when I'm more fair, I wear it when I'm more tan. So this is my current obvious favorite nude lipstick of the moment. Um, you can use my discount code to get money off of just this lipstick or you can go buy my bundle, which I highly recommend because it has a beautiful red and a dark burgundy. So the nude, the red, and the burgundy are kind of meant to get you through everything. All your lipstick needs will be covered with my bundle. So all that information is down below. Again, I'm wearing it right now. So I wear it all the time. I, I could be wearing this lipstick in any given day and you might not know it's the same one over and over again because how I manipulate it. And the way I manipulated it today is using this lip gloss from City Beauty. So I have uh, Where's My Limo all over the lips. I used Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Aligner, Iconic Nude Lip Liner all around the lip. And for gloss, this is another thing from City Beauty. There's actually two more City Beauty products. I told you guys, I really love the stuff they sent me. Um, but their lip products, particularly these glosses, are amazing. Like, they are so, they're hydrating in a way, they're almost like a balm. I mean, they don't feel like a balm. They definitely have that lasting power on the lips, but they feel like they truly deeply hydrate your lips while you're wearing it. As I said before, a lot of the beauty products they have tend to have like a double duty side to them. Duty, every time I say that makes me laugh. Um, they tend to have some sort of benefiting ingredients for the area that you apply it to and the lip glosses are no exception. Um, I do really, really, really love these. They sent me several of the colors and several of the formulas, but like I said, today I'm wearing this one, which is pink nude. It is exactly that, like a very, very nude. You can wear over any lipstick and it's going to change it and make it a little bit more nude or pink you can wear it on its own and it's very beautiful and they plump your lips a little bit i don't necessarily need help with that but they do and then the clear one which is just called clear their city lips i wear on no makeup days a lot because because again it's that hydration it's just that high shine that that kind of polished put together vibe Love their lip glosses, highly recommend. And the last beauty product and the last product from City Beauty is the Beyond Mascara. This guy is beat up because I love it. This is my new favorite mascara of life, you guys. First of all, this wand is something, is a sight to see. This wand and this formula in tandem grip onto every single lash that I have and coach them perfectly top and bottom, period. Doesn't flake, doesn't run. I don't think it's waterproof, but I've had no issues with it transferring or moving or anything along those lines. Plus it has a crap ton of ingredients in it included, including linden bud extract, a keratin biotin compound, panthenol and hyaluronic acid. It's all meant to help your lashes and protect them and help them stay strong and then they don't fall out and then they essentially kind of grow. I mean, this isn't call itself a lash growing mascara, but that's what happens when you take really good of your good care of your lashes. So again, with the combination of beauty and benefits, I, I love this brand. Um, again, I will leave my F. <laughs> I'll leave my code down below. You guys make sure you check them out because 
you're going to see a lot more products from them. Um, you're going to see a lot more loved, well-loved products in the future anyway, because I'm actually kind of on a hot streak with just tons of cool stuff. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up now because we've been here for a minute. Thank you to everyone who was so kind and supportive on my new video, reached out and expressed your care. It meant a lot. I am going to get back to responding to comments ASAP. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check the down bar for information on how to save 30% off your first month with them using my code. And I guess also thank you to the patrons. So many, so many thanks today. Uh, Patreon, is in desperate need of lots of attention from me and it's going to be getting it very soon. I have some plans for things I would like to see happen before the year wraps up. And if I cannot make these big picture things happen before the year wraps up, because it's happening quickly, um, the beginning of next year is going to be really, really cool with kind of like some courses or workshops I want to do over there. Um, one thing at a time though, one thing at a time. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one.